Hello and welcome with Pindernovsky. So here another message. Uh, I actually had another subject in mind, or thinking to put all of them together in one single message. But may I separate them or else it get a little bit too long, both or three of them together. So I put two of them together and the one I will separate from death. Uh, we'll surely see it then how many will watch this one and how many will watch the other message depending on we'll see the headlines people always go to the headlines and say oh you know fear feeling messages there's they're usually uh, more watched but uh, i will record and upload both shortly after one another due to the wish i have faster internet uh, there will be a couple of hours between However, I'm wondering if anyone wants to hear anything else anymore about the war in Israel. Seems like you're getting bombarded with that, like propaganda. That's how it works. I'm not sure how to start, but let me go first to hypocrisy. I've been living most of my life in the center of Europe, I'm not surrounded by that criminal organization called the Evil Union. And currently I'm out of it. Uh, yes, to say that it might be put me in this message or all what I speak it might be I'm the target of disinformation or whatever they name it, this new illegal law of censorship. And I'm gonna say illegal free speech is a human law. Whether someone agrees with the opinion or not, I may not. They are typical hate speech, you know, that uh, but they use these cuss words where I say that's not okay. But a really discussion about some subjects, you cannot do that anymore. It's over. But since decades, I've been watching the puppets of the club like flags in the wind. I mean, the best example is that person von der Leyen were they more appropriate with the name should be uh, von der Leiden, which then would mean something like uh, from or by the suffering. And indeed, hearing her hot air puppy cook cause a lot of pain. Uh, but I have seen often such people have been lifted up and up and up in high rank positions because the puppet player in the background they love to these people because they use, can use them perfectly for their benefits. And if they don't work anymore, as expected, just punch them off. And they'll get replaced by another puppet, which I have seen also often. And suddenly they just disappear out of, out of the blue or from the political circus. And I can say it happened over and over throughout the last decades, as much as I can remember, maybe longer. But I'm not 150 years old yet. I'm only 120. That's the life that Adonai has given us. But I also remember how much the EU, or at least some of the EU countries, have embraced the Palestinians year after year with support in word and in finances and everything. And suddenly now it turned around 180 degrees. How, how did it happen? Government building and lit up the, their, their, their buildings, you know, government buildings. They're lit up now with Israeli flags, colors and so on. And, and some have even banned often pro-Palestinian protests now. No, I, I don't support or admire that what Hamas is doing, nor their behavior, not at all. So I'm completely against it, what they're doing. It's simply, simply disgusting what they do. And the reason for it, it's surely more complex is just to uh, explaining in, a, in two or three sentences, but not surprising actually. And I would not wonder if this was planned actually 
since a very, very long time. And, and here comes the hypocrisy. When Russia had cut off some towns in the Ukraine or some areas, whatever, from water and electricity, or even one of that, they called it war crime in big letters, you know, these fat big letters in the headlines of the propaganda outlets. But now, as Israel officially declared it and cut off electricity, water and food supply and everything from Gaza, and even named the people that live there as human animals, animals it's now all it's cherished and said, yes, great. These hypocrisies. Children and women are collectively now labeled the same. Terrorists. Five, three-year-old toddlers are now terrorists. At least to the evil union. And, but since the, they, uh, the EU received the Nobel Poop Prize, they can do anyway everything what they want. Any, whatever. Uh, maybe Israel is the next who received that joke prize. I don't expect the lamestream propaganda machine to report anything else but what the globalist puppet players are telling them or the puppets telling them. Uh, but now to the Gaza thing from another perspective. And now here it comes. Just listen. Forget about all the war and things. Uh, so the narrative changed. And uh, you, as I remember, they call it always, or at least in the broader concept, the propaganda machine called it open air prison. And they're weeping so much, presenting little children with their saucer eyes in tears, and they don't have anything. And, suffering and because Israel being so rude and so violent and so brutal against them and ooh, bah, 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 bah. but now here comes the so-called conspiracy theory theory or truth if you want to name it like that whatever you can you can choose it's my picture my guess or a part of the puzzle. So I'm not going into discussion that the Israeli government and the Mossad must definitely have known. And in my opinion, they had the hands deep in the swampy plot and let it happen. That what we see now turning into war, whether bigger or smaller, we don't know yet how it turns out. Uh, you know, there was no way that even a fox could enter the fence without action being taken. And, but the rusty old bulldozer pound that fence for an hour to break it. And thousands of armed people, or well, these Hamas people, could launch Israeli territory and some claim it's stolen territory, doesn't matter. Uh, and filming with their smart toys, the whole scene and other details and no response for hours. This is impossible. Oh, where, did, where do they get these smarty film cameras from and all the other surveillance technology in Gaza? Where does it come from? And here I want to bring another thought. Let's assume just, it's not what I say that it is, you know, I don't have proof or anything, but let's assume that the ter territory of Gaza and everything what happened there throughout all the years, not only that last scenes, but throughout the years till today, that everything was planned very careful from the very beginning, the whole scenery from the very beginning, just on, have on their boards, the script. I have no doubt that the secret services have been infiltrating the Hamas up to the leadership and 
possibly perfected the system to that led to that current disaster now. Maybe the last step to rearrange the Middle East into something else uh, for the final chapter of the book of Revelation. But that's when God steps in, however it will be. And for what purpose? There are different purposes, but uh, just get one. Uh, it's all nothing less but to play a game. Which game? What game I'm talking? So like a test balloon, a test project of how much you can put on people's back and what happens when you carefully put the last straw on the camel's back. Then stand back, pretend, pretending and promoting it. It broke on its own. Or in other words, and here comes another conspiracy, a prototype of the 15-minute cities. A test how much you can do with the people, how to manipulate and the behavior and the minds of people, and how far you can go, and what the result will be when you put the last straw on their backs. Uh, and I look at the broader picture, you know, a little bit from distance, like you have these paintings, these beautiful paintings of ancient artists. When you look close, you, you, you see just a fuzzy something. But if you go away, you see, the, you see it clear. And finally, that should, the, the, the idea of this test pilot project, uh, what should be done and reported by the synchronized lamestream liars to bring all those who are not yet in the secluded cities in alignment with the plans of the puppet players. How to adjust the frequency of the death towers in order to make people mad and give a me and to finally to give a reason to implement martial law or whatever country they have similar uh, or different names for that or similar rules. Well, you can spin a lot of different hypotheses around it. This is just a small part of my take on this Gaza thing. Since I, I remember decades, the Gaza was always something on the front pages. And every now and then something happened and then gets worse and then gets this and that, you know, the, the shift, how it always takes is like, like a fiddle out. What can you do? What can't you do? And pointing to the 15 minute cities, how far you can go. And one thing is clear, propaganda and brainwashing works. It works. And it has been going on since centuries. And what we see now is might be the perfection of it. Or what will come. It's not yet completely finished. I think there's more to come. So what do I would suggest to be prepared of what will come, what is to come, and how things will shift in the world. And carefully watch it and be aligned with the Holy Spirit that he will lead and guide you through all of this to make the right decision, to be at the right place at the right time. Clear if things have gone insane and people completely mad. Madness is completely out of control. Some countries is a little, little bit more, some others less. But all in all, what we see here is Scripture unfolding in front of our very eyes. This is amazing. Uh, so for us who believe in Yeshua as the Messiah who came in the flesh and died for our sins and rose from the dead, and pray in Psalm 91 and believe it, trust and obey Adonai and he will make a way where there is no way. And he make the way until he comes back. And one day, if you see close enough with Yeshua, he will bring you home. I'm excited to see you up there in the air. And then in heaven, where every tear will be washed away. So I bless you and I pray Adonai be with you. Shalom, shalom.